Hi, Cancer. This is Jeffrey. This is uh, Ripe Color. This is your three card reading for the week of January 31st through February 7th, 2021. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I hope um, all is well. Uh, I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30. All the information is below. And just, it's really cold here. So just before I started the reading, I got a little sparrow out uh, on my fire escape. I live in New York. It's so cold that I haven't really seen many birds around. They're sort of like hunkering down. So the sparrow is a symbol of the common man, the dignity of the common man, right? And they even, they're, they're so small, I mean, I think that, you know, there's no place you can go where there aren't sparrows. And they have such a lovely little song. They're cute. Okay. So if that means something to you. One, two, three. Look how orange it is. Uh, if you're thinking about starting something new, the answer is yes. I'm looking toward a place. I'm uh, I'm looking toward a new idea, a new uh, passion, a new you know. It, it's like something twirling around in your head, and. Um, Maybe it's the spring. You know, this is about fertility. This is about growing something that is going to sprout into a tree. And I, I love his outfit, by the way. Um, and there's a lot of like yellow and orange around. So it's very uh, wrapped up in creative energy and it's very wrapped up in um, kind of, I will this, you know, there, there's a lot of oomph behind it. And then you get the eight and the eight is about awareness. So I feel like if, if you're looking in a new direction, right? If you're looking, I like this habit, it never maintains its shape. Okay. If you're looking in a new direction, it's very odd talking to yourself, I have to say. If you've ever done YouTube videos, it's very, you know, I know I'm talking to people, but at the same time, I see myself talking. It, it's very weird. Um, I feel like you're being led, actually. I feel like, you know, you have some new idea or some new kernel of an idea of something um, something that you can make grow of something that is, um, nourishing. There's a nourishment to it. And, you know, like the idea is just <laughs> coming really fast and furious. I, you know, this card can sometimes be stressed, but I'm not getting that in this reading. Um, I, I generally read cards very optimistically, I have to say. Um, and eights are about awareness, right? Awareness. Diagonals also to me, diagonals are very interesting because I feel like they, um, so if, if the spiritual plane is vertical, right? and the material plane is horizontal. I always feel like diagonals cut through both. Like they incorporate, they don't need to incorporate because they're just made of both, right? And it just, it's fast, it's fast. And it like, it makes sense and it's done and boom. Um, like a real brainstorm in a way, you know, like 
when it comes through, it's like, oh, I should do this. And, and there's no, it's instinctual. I should do this. I'm going to move like this. You know, I intuitively knew to do that. How did you know? It's like, I don't know. I just knew. Some, you know, like if you, you know, catch something that was thrown at you or something like that. I don't mean to be violent, but whatever. Because you get the uh, the Wheel of Fortune, which is a 10, which is great. It, it's a one, it's about leadership, it's about evolution. That's really what it's about. It's about evolution. So some people call this the karma card. And in, in fact, it's, it's like the, um, you know, kind of like graduating. It's kind of like graduating, you know, it's like, well, this is just a turn of events, you know, as we move forward with our path, hopefully we're not going backward. You know, if you make slow, steady progress, all of a sudden, you know, let's say you're um, learning a skill, right? So when you first start learning it, it's like, oh my God, I don't even know what the tools are. I don't know what I'm doing, you know, blah, 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 blah. But then as you start doing it, you start to get more comfortable. And then all of a sudden it's like, Oh yeah, I could do this, you know, really easily. It flows really easily. Um, I feel like th that's where you're going and it's an evolvement of your skill, of your creativity, of your passion, of your ideas, of, I like to think of it as, you know, um, you know how clocks are made? I don't, but I'm just giving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not moving to Switzerland anytime soon. You know how the uh, there are little like like little V's or whatever. It's like cogs and a wheel. It's like, and as you you know you get closer and closer to the top, so that you can. It's not about being on the top. It's really about having a bigger picture, seeing the whole picture, right? And that's where it feels like it's going. So if there's something calling you, it's like, I wonder if I tried that. I wonder if I stuck my uh, toe in that pool. I wonder if I, right? Well, don't wonder, do. Don't wonder, do. Oh, it's Mercury retrograde. You know, if you stopped every time it was a Mercury retrograde. That being said, Mercury retrograde starts today, the 30th when I'm doing this. It's a good time to redo, right? It's a good time to uh, repaint, re-establish, re, 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 re. Also, it's the time for the, you know, because the, it's really, this is really the time in our lives in a lot of ways. Um, it's like the birth of the individual is really coming about. It's like the birth of the eccentric, of the of the one who like does things in a different way. You know, it's favored. It's favored. That's what Aquarian energy is all about, right? Marching to the beat of your own drum, right? And if everyone's marching to the beat of their own drum, it's like, well, that should be really interesting instead of everyone, you know, following and going along the same exact way. So I feel like it's time to step into your evolvement, right? And no, also, it's kind of like, you know, you step on the escalator. So when you step on the escalator, you know, you're going to go to the next floor. It's time to step on the escalator and see where it takes you, you know, because it might, you know, certain escalators, you know, they, they skip floors, you know, and it's like, oh, well, I went, let's say I'm in the mall, bad example. I went from the food court into the bookstore, or I went from the food court, let's say, because of the bottom floor, some of them have on the top, but whatever, let's say this one has on the bottom. I went from there into, you know, uh, another kind of store. I can't think of an example. You understand? Get on the escalator. Get on the escalator. That's your job. Get on the escalator. See what you see. Let it evolve as it um, reveals itself to you. But I, I know that you're, you're kind of hungry. 
you know, and kind of curious and kind of uh, naive in a good way, right? Yeah, you know, I want to try that. Yeah, you should try it. Very hopeful. Yeah, very hopeful. Evolution of the soul. Blessings to you.